a very good day to all. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Dato Associate Professor Dr. Suaidi Dato Shafiri, the author for the micro course uh, Malaysian e-culture that we are presenting now. Is the, this program is a collaboration between Asian China Digital Education Alliance, ACDEA, and UTEM, University of Technical Malaysia, Malacca. I'm presenting my micro course on Malaysian e-culture, whereby uh, culture is a unique heritage of cultural mosaic. And I quote uh, the saying of people without knowledge of their past history, origin, and culture is like a tree without roots. Together with me, I'm our co-presenter, um, co-author, Associate Professor Dr. Zanaria and Dr. Muhammad Zahir. Now let's go to the topic on Malaysian e-culture. I'll present the content of the preamble, the introduction to the Malaysian e-culture, and then to follow up with the teaching plan uh, of, of the course. Now, the, the next slide is on what is culture? Culture is the language that we use. Culture is the working schedule, the way we dress, our attire, our attitude, our manners, our celebrations, the way we eat, medical, and so on. So it's, it's our way of life. Culture is our way of life. And it is a heritage from our ancestors and it does not uh, exist individually, but it's a community group of people creating the same types of um, elements like language, food, dressing, manners, celebration, religion, and so on. So it's a way of life and the way of life changes uh, accordingly based on the contemporary issues and uh, the performance of the country. So now the component of culture, uh, we mentioned earlier, the language itself, the dialects, the slangs, for each language it has, it has its own dialect and slangs. And then we have the way communication happen, the courtesies, the courtesies will be the the title of 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 a person, like captain, doctor, doctor, professor. These are the courtesies. Uh, different countries, different courtesies. It means manners of interacting, the, the way we think, the way we set up values, relationship, custom, and so on. Uh, again, uh, when we talk about the elements of culture, what makes us similar to some people in the world, similar to some people in the world, but different from most others, there will be culture. There are similarities. There are differences as we compare between two countries, two people from the two different countries. So culture is the total knowledge, attitudes and behavior shared by and passed on by members of a special group, heritage inherited by our great, great grandfathers and so on. And culture is acts as a blueprint for how a group of people should behave if they want to fit in with the group. And the culture also ties us to one group and separates us from other groups. There are factors involved in culture, the food and shelter, the religion, relationship to family, others, language, education, security, political, social organization, creative in expression, our, our gesture, our facial gesture, it shows uh, uh, reflect reflection to a uh, to an event, for example. Now, toward cross-culture, cross-culture between two countries, the trans, trans-culture elements. If we go to another country, uh, they use different language, different elements of culture. So the element that we mentioned earlier involve activities, the way they run their life every day. And then the goal of the cross culture will be to coexist. We can interact with others. We can, you know, um, stop fighting, stop prejudice, and helping each other. So the cross culture happen, 
encountering and exchange ideas and just like what we have in uh, Asian China Digital Education Alliance and UTEM is a cross culture e activities. Now culture is the way that we think, the way we act and the way we interact. For us, the children say culture is everything. Now we have to uh, customize our culture if we go to another country, changing of culture. Next culture now. Nowadays, now we're going to e-culture, electronic culture. The word e-culture refers to the enemy interplay between new media and communication technologies, as well as the creation and reception of culture and the arts. Um, it's, it, it, it is to encourage e-culture in e-learning environment through the creation, incorporation of digital materials, online learning technologies that facilitate interactive learning. We are far away, we are separated by the borders, but with the so-called um, e-culture, we can be anywhere virtually, but not physically. Uh, in a way, most of the activities happen online. Now, the children nowadays prefer to play modern games or anything that they feel is easy, comfortable to play. And this affects the traditional games. The traditional game is uh, disappearing, influenced by the innovation of modern games and technology. Now, what is e-culture? The e-culture micro course is interactive. Um, we can interact with the audience, with the participants, and integrate it with the so-called apps online on the smartphone, Google Play apps, student-centered learning, the SSEL, and reach with digital learning methods and tools will help international students develop their understanding and appreciation of culture. Together with preparing students for a digital era, the course attempts to improve students' engagement and effectiveness by fostering a more tech-friendly and productive learning environment. The innovations of upgrading traditional games into e-games apps offer alternatives to the youth, like e-chongka, e-panorama, e-museum, and etc. based on online. Now, key objectives of the aim of the e-culture by completing this micro course, participants should be able to number one, explore Malaysian. And Malaysia means the Southeast Asia, people of Asian, because in Malaysia we have Chinese, it's multicultural, multi-ethnic, we have Ind Indian, we have Malay, so you don't have to go to India, you don't have to go to China, because those uh, just professing certain religion, those uh, applying certain uh, culture of, of their races, of their uh, ethnics, happens in Malaysia. The way Indian eat, the way Chinese dress, the way they do their ethics and manner, you can see it here. So, Malaysia culture represents Southeast Asia or Asian culture itself. Um, online et ethics and manners, cultural awareness. Uh, also, the aim is to foster an understanding of Malaysian culture and values in a digital context. Number three, uh, objective for e-culture as well, to incorporate e-learning modules and promote the use of technology in learning and teaching. And last but not least, this is a transcultural, transcultural bridge, a link between transnational e-cultures of different countries. That's the end of the uh, PowerPoint presentation. Let's go on with the teaching plan. Let's have, have a look at the teaching plan. Uh, I'm switching over to teaching plan. Stop sharing. And then I'm opening the teaching plan. A, a brief look at the teaching plan. Now let's share the teaching, teaching plan. Um, there we are. And uh, Let's have a look at the um, the teaching plan consists of four parts. Each part is 30 minutes. So 30 minutes times four, it will take about two hours. 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 30 minutes, two hours of presentation consists of four parts, four units of uh, discussion in the E-class. Uh, part one will be the introduction to e-culture, the one that uh, 
content consists of definition and elements of culture, the types of culture, issues of cultural diversity um, between different ethnic, ethnic and so on. A combination of ethnicity, language, religion, tradition, sports, music and songs, costumes, cuisines, the food, cuisines and values, and the festivals and national celebration. There'll be activities involved, not only lecture Q&A, there'll be a straw poll or quick poll or survey and a demonstration video. Material will be the presentation slide, which will uh, poll survey form and video. The second uh, quarters of the presentation, the next 30 minutes will be part two on the world view of the multicultural outlooks of Malaysian culture. As we mentioned, this is to cover the objective number two, and then the content will be varied, cultures of different ethnicity, the aborigines, the original people of the country, and the diaspora, the, the people of Malaysia, outside of Malaysia, in the United Kingdom, in China, and elsewhere, diaspora. And then number three, the unity in the diversity, we see the harmony, life in harmony, even though they are from different ethnics and so on, but they are under one umbrella of the country. And then distinctive cultural identities. Number five, which of unique two will be mixed Malay, Chinese, Indian, other ethnic cultures combined as Malaysian culture. We call that Malaysian culture, national culture, and then the heritage and modern architecture, compare between the heritage and modern architecture. Now the session outline of number three, part three, um, the third quarters, uh, 30 minutes also, the e-culture web-based and apps program accessible online. Content will be innovation of new technologies on the websites and, and the vlogs or blogs, the e-games on web and apps, smartphone like Chongka, top spinning game, etc. The e-music, e-song, minus one, Spotify, YouTube, etc. Everything online. All programs or initiatives by Ministry of Education, uh, especially on the e editorialism, the Ministry of Youth and Sports, and the Ministry of Culture. So, material will be gamification uh, because it's gay e games, gamification instruction. And last but not least, the sharing the transnational culture, the sharing and appreciating respective uh, cultures of the people around the world. Um, uh, content will be respecting, honoring diverse culture of people worldwide, customs and ethics, taboos, superstition, myth, dickism, do's and don'ts, comparison of culture, similarities and differences, and then we go into future trends. Then will be the closing mark. I think that's it. A clear explanation of what our micro course uh, content and would be if we run the micro course in our collaboration. Um, that's it for now. I wish you all the best and uh, looking forward to our next collaboration. Till then, class dismissed. Thank you and bye-bye. And that's it. That's the end of our...